Good morning. We'd like to welcome you to the Trinity Baptist Church in Westfield, North Carolina. And if you don't have a church to attend, we want to take just a moment and invite you to come and be with us in any or all of our services. We start on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock with Sunday school preaching at 11, Sunday nights at 6 o'clock, and Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock. And we've also got an FM transmitter for those that are sick or maybe just not feeling you know, terrible bad, but don't want to come in and bring anything in on anybody. They can sit in the parking lot and listen from their vehicle at 92.9 FM. So keep that in mind as well. We're located at 1233 Collins Town Road, Westfield, North Carolina. And we do thank the Lord for his many, many blessings. We appreciate you viewing today, uh, this morning, or whenever you're viewing. We hope it'll be a blessing to your heart. Be taking that good old authorized King James Bible and turning with us to the book of Hebrews chapter number 13. Hebrews chapter number 13. And, and uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Ask God to help us and to help you. We all need the Lord's help, that's for sure. And I sure do desire your prayers that you pray for us, that God would bless, pray for the Trinity Baptist Church in Westfield. The Lord's helped us and blessed us. And uh, we thank God for what he's doing. And pray for the lost. Most of all, they'll get saved. That they'll see their need for the Lord. Get right with God. Pray for those that's backslid. Of course, we know God's going to deal with them. We've been talking about that. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So we know God's going to deal with them, but we can still pray for them, can't we? And let's remember those that are sick. And let's pray together today. Father, we love you. We thank you for the opportunity of being able to have this 10 minutes with the pastor on Sunday mornings. We realize probably that's when most people view, but people could be viewing any time any day of the week, and I pray it'd be a help to them. I pray for the lost, that they'll be saved. Those that's backslidden, they'll get right with you. And Lord, I pray for Lord our sick folk, God, you touch them physically. I pray for our country. I pray for our leaders, those in authority over us, God, that they'll get things right with you and, and put you first. And Lord, we need to do that as well. I pray you'd bless our church, Lord. Continue to use us, God, for your glory and your honor. I pray for other services that'll be going on this morning and, and here at Trinity as well at 10. But God, I just pray you'd bless this video for the shut-in or somebody maybe that can't get out and go to church or maybe they're having to work. I pray you'd help it to be a blessing as well. And we'll thank you and praise you for all you do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter number 13. We're starting chapter 13 this morning. We have looked at chapter 11, chapter 12, and chapter 13. We're getting ready to start that. And uh, it's been a blessing. Hebrews 11 talked about the faith of those it's mentioned. Many are mentioned. And it talked about because of their faith, what they did for God. True faith produces works. Then chapter 12 talks about that we need to see that we're compassed about or surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. And we need to lay aside every weight. The sin was just so easily beset us and run with patience. The race is set before us. We've got a race to run. And we need to look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, the Bible talks about. And then talks about the chastening of the Lord. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. We shouldn't despise the chastening of the Lord. We should be thankful, those of us that are saved, born again. We should be thankful for the chastening of the Lord. And we, we need to live for God. And I mean, just realize that God's, God's been so good to us, the least we can do is live for him. It says in verse 29 of chapter 12, for our God is the consuming fire. Verse 28 says, wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Thank God for that. Amen. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably. See, the Bible says we need to serve God acceptably. You say, preacher, what's that mean? That means his way in a manner or in a way that would be acceptable unto the Lord. So he says, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence, with reverence, reverence God. He's God. He's not just another person. He's God. He's the creator. Reverence God with what? It says with reverence or serve God with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Now, chapter 13 has some things to say that, uh, that will be a help to us as well. The Bible says in verse number one, think about this, Hebrews 13, one. Here it goes. Four words. Four words in this first verse. Let brotherly love continue. Let brotherly love continue. Hey, that's talking about loving our brethren, loving the brothers and sisters in the Lord, not in an immoral way, but in a, in a Christ-like way, loving them. Let brotherly love continue, amen. What's that talking about? We'll find out more about it in verse number two, but 
It means that we should care for one another, try to help one another, be an encouragement to one another. Well, he says in verse number two, be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Be not careful to entertain strangers. Now, that don't mean entertain as in we go for some entertainment. That means to help. Not, not just people we know, but strangers. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Now, the Bible says, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. In other words, maybe when you're helping someone and and, uh, and th that needs help and you try to do something for them, you may be helping an angel and, and be unaware of that. So we should let brotherly love continue and we should be a help to those that, that, try, that need help if, we're, if we can do that. So be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. So brotherly love will cause us to try to help our brothers and sisters in Christ. When we find out about a need and if there's anything we can do towards that need, we need to, we need to try to do that. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Verse 3 says, remember them that are in bonds. Remember them that are in bonds, those that are in prison, as bound with them. Now, Paul, I believe, was the writer of the book of Hebrews, but the apostle Paul, he, he spent a lot of time in, in prison because of his faith, because of preaching the word of God being obedient to God, doing what God wanted him to do. So he says, remember them that are in bonds. Don't forget about them. I believe he's talking about mainly here, those that are in bonds for preaching the gospel. I know we need to do that, but we also need to try to pray for those that are in bonds anywhere. I mean, they need the Lord, right? Would you agree with me that people in prison need Jesus? You say, well, you might be of the opinion, well, I don't think they deserve to know the Lord. Well, let me, let me say something to you today. Neither do you. Neither do I. None of us deserve to know the Lord. So we need to remember them that are in bonds, he says, as bound with them. I mean, we, we could be there too. We could be there too. And then which suffer adversity. Those that are going through adversity, we need to remember them in prayer, he says, as being yourselves also in the body. See, we suffer adversity. I suffer adversity. You suffer adversity. What is what is the definition for adversity? Problems, troubles, things that come against us. We all do. So he says we need to remember them that are in bonds, that's bound with them. And then we need to remember them, he says, and then which suffer adversity. We need to remember them too. They're going through problems and troubles in their lives as being yourselves also in the body. See, it can happen to us. See, a good preacher friend of mine, Brother Roger Pickett, I hadn't got to see him in many years, Brother Roger Pickett used to say this. I think I'm telling this right. Brother Roger Pickett used to say, pray for others as you'd want them to pray for you. Now think about that for just a moment. Pray for others as you would want them to pray for you. Well, if that's the case, we'd be praying for them, right? So those that are suffering adversity, listen, we need to realize that it could be us. Now, if I'm going through something, maybe I can be a blessing to somebody else that's going through that because God's blessed me and brought me through it. So remember them that are in bond, just bound with them, and then what suffer adversity is being yourselves also in the body. Now that's really about as far as we need to go today as far as our time goes. Lord willing, next Sunday morning, we'll pick up with verse number four. Now verse number four is not a very, uh, I, I would think, popular verse in probably in Paul's day or in the day we live in. Let me just read to you what it says and then we'll pick up on that Lord willing next Sunday morning. Hebrews 13, 4 says, Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. That's what the Bible says. Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Boy, that's the truth. A lot of times people don't want truth, but that's what the Bible says. And listen, let's think about this letting our letting brotherly love continue and and, and don't be forgetful to entertain or to, to help strangers. Could be helping angels unaware, it says. And remember them that are in bonds and as bound with them. And those that suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. It could happen to us. Let's pray for one another. Let's pray for the lost that they'll get saved. Let's pray for one another. My, my 10 minutes or so are, are come and gone again this morning. But we, we've been glad to be with you. I hope this has been encouragement to you this morning. And if it is, you give God the glory. And I just want to say we do love you, the Lord. And thank you so much for viewing. And God bless you until next Sunday morning is our prayer.